Hello, thank you. Thank you for joining me. See, what I like to show you in these uh, videos are, are a little bit about columns. Uh, there are two different kind of columns you could use. There are structural columns and architectural columns. Structural columns are uh, as a part of a Revit architecture in regard to structures you would use in Revit architecture that uh, we're not really going to be covering in this class is beyond the scope of this class, but something you could certainly explore on your own through online resources. And I think there's a couple references and chapters uh, in our book that you could use. So for this exercise, what we're going to be using is architectural columns. And in order to control those architectural columns, we're going to create a, you know, a few planes that we call grids. Grids are visible on uh, kind of like levels on an elevation. Grids are visible on a, on a floor plan. And what they are is a plane that's perpendicular to the plane of view, and of course an intersection of a, of a plane, and uh, another plane is typically a line, and that's what we're going to be seeing. So just like levels, when we look at a level line, it's actually a plane that goes indefinitely in the back. Uh, the same thing with a grid. What we're looking at is a is is the telephone ringing. What we're looking at is a plane that goes indefinitely towards towards the bottom. So hopefully, so get that phone, and uh, we'll keep on with our presentation here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go to the structure tab on our uh, ribbon and we're going to go to the the grid function here. You'll notice that uh, in regard to the datums here, the datum uh, uh, panel, we have levels and grids. Grids are appropriate for uh, floor plans. Levels are appropriate for elevations and, uh, and sections. So grids are uh, highlighted and levels are kind of grayed out in the background. So let's go ahead and do this. What we're going to do is we're going to put in about three or four grids in each uh, orientation. And we're going to label them uh, one through uh, like three or four on one side and A, B, C, D on the other side. And we want to start with our grids uh, typically on the edge of the wall and then kind of work our way on the inside. The intent here is to build a deck, an exterior deck that's going to come out of uh, this wall and this wall. So it'll be L-shaped uh, coming around this corner. And what we like to do is support it with a column here, a column here column here and a column somewhere in front of that door and we're going to control those by grids. So join me in the next video and I'll show you how to do that.